What's up, everybody? It's Dave here from Profitable Tools, where I review software to help you grow your business. Today, I am reviewing Joofy. This is a social inbox, so you can connect up all of your different social platforms, things like Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, uh, all into one central location where you can give your teammates access, or even if you're a solo entrepreneur, you can just have all of your communication on those different social platforms in one inbox. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Here is their website. You can see they've got some uh, pretty big clients here. They're saying they work with Estee Lauder. I noticed these are a lot in the beauty uh, makeup industry, Aveda, uh, Clinique, Mac, Bobby Brown. These are all makeup companies, I believe. Uh, user guiding, which does kind of those nice little tutorials when you land on websites. Nice or annoying, depending on your point of view. Uh, so it looks like they've got some decent clients. You can see some testimonials here. Uh, and here is the interesting part to me. This is the platforms that they integrate with. So we're going to have Facebook pages, Instagram, uh, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, Google My Business. Uh, and if you're an app developer, you'll be happy to see that they do both the Google Play Store as well as the iOS App Store. Um, and then two things that are coming soon that I think are going to be really, really beneficial to the product. It's going to make it a lot more valuable. Uh, we have Gmail as well as Facebook groups. So if you're a group manager, you know that Facebook is terrible about letting you know when there's new posts in the group. It's You kind of have to just like search through posts to see if anybody's posted anything. Uh, and for Gmail, the benefit I could see here would be to turn this not only into a social inbox, but you could use it as a customer support portal as well because you could set up like a support at your business.com email address and then have uh, Joofy set up to connect with it for support tickets. So this could really turn it into kind of an all-in-one support solution. All right, looking pretty good on the surface, but let's go ahead and dig in. So I've got a fresh Joofy account here and I'm just over in the channels section. I'm gonna go ahead and start connecting some accounts and we can see some data start to come in. Let me connect up the Twitter account. All right, I'm just gonna add my personal account here. I'm not extremely active on Twitter, but if I were to use Twitter, it would definitely be with my personal account. There is one for this channel, but I don't know if I've ever tweeted. All right, it looks like that's successful. I'm gonna go back over to the channels and I can see, sure enough, it says one Twitter account is connected. Let's go ahead and just add a few more. I'll keep the camera rolling here. So if I run into any hurdles, uh, I'll let you know. All right, so it was pretty seamless. I went ahead and connected a Twitter account, a Facebook account, an Instagram account, a LinkedIn account, and a YouTube account. I have not gotten signed up for the Gmail closed beta yet, so I can't demonstrate that. I also don't have access to a Google My Business, Google Play Store, or App Store account that I could link up to show you. So we'll have to get by with these kind of mainstream profiles. I think that's what most people are gonna wanna use anyway. So here is what the inbox looks like. Now, right away, I'll let you know that almost all, if not all of these comments are coming in from YouTube because that is the channel that I have the most uh, communication with people on. So what I'm actually gonna do is send out a post and just try to get people to engage with me so I can show you what it looks like when messages come in on other platforms. All right, so I just left this post over on the Facebook group looking for some engagement on my inactive social platform. So hopefully someone on the Facebook group will be able to comment and I will pause the video and pick it up as soon as we have a little bit more action in the inbox. Before that, I just wanna let you know that the link for the Facebook group is down below in the description as well as the link for Joofy. Now, I never accept payments for creating these videos. Uh, developers ask me all the time, hey, will you review my product? And they offer to pay me. I never accept any sort of payments. Uh, I do use affiliate links so that I can give honest reviews. If you like the product, if it's a helpful video and you're going to buy anyway, you can click the affiliate link down below. That will give me a small commission if you make a purchase. Never costs you anything extra. All right, back to the inbox as soon as there's a little bit more momentum. Momentum. All right, so back over in the Joofy inbox, I did just get one message. I just posted that a second ago over on the Facebook group. Let's click that. And you can see that Drina here has said, hey, just helping out with Joofy. Let's go ahead and reply to her right inside of the Joofy platform. So I'm gonna go ahead and type my reply right here. All right, so I've got my reply typed out. Now I have the option to just send the reply or I can choose send and solved, which will make the you know customer issue uh, resolved and then it will no longer show up as a pending issue in my inbox. So let's go ahead and look a little bit more at some of the features when you're replying to someone. I'm gonna click on this new message here from Davey Davis, asked if I've heard of Joofy and if I'm gonna make a video review. Uh, so again, here I could just type my reply, but there's a few more options. We can of course use emojis. It does have the option for canned responses. So if you are saying the same thing to someone over and over again, you could save that as a canned response and then be able to reply to everybody with the same message. 
All right, so I just wrote, Jufi is looking good so far. Nice UI to Davey Dave. Now I'm gonna save this as a canned response. Why don't I go ahead and add maybe a thumbs up here. Looks like that added it to the actual reply. So I'll just copy and paste it down below. And let's go ahead and save this. And now if I have another ticket that asks a very similar question, I could simply click on my quick replies and here we go. I can see uh, the top one that I just created right here. I'll go ahead and click that and it just inserts it into the message. I really like this because it didn't send it automatically. I could still modify it to tailor to the specific user, but it does give me quick access to common things that I'm gonna be repeating over and over again. Jufi does have some pretty nice tagging features included as well. And that's a really nice way to start to categorize or at least get an idea of what topics people are messaging you about the most or contacting you on social media about the most. Uh, so here we can see there's been two tags already applied to this message. And those were automatically applied because uh, Davey Dave sent a direct message and I have read it. So those automatically get applied by Jufi. And then I can go ahead and, ahead and hit add tag right here. There's a few more default tags that are included included, uh, say the tonality of the message. Is this a neutral, negative, or positive message? Let's go ahead and say this is a neutral message. And there you go, it adds that tag. Uh, one thing I don't like is that it does close the tag uh, little selector each time I click something. So if I wanna add multiple tags, I have to keep clicking back and forth. A small nuance, but it is there. Uh, I could say add a new tag here, and I could just say this is a test reply. So I'll create a tag for test reply. Funny enough, it leaves this message open so I could create a lot of new tags at once. And when I pressed escape to close the ability to add more tags, it actually closed me out of the entire ticket. So let me open that ticket back up and we'll go ahead and add the tag test reply. Great, now if I wanted to assign this ticket to another team member, I could do that over here where it says assign to. Uh, I don't have any other users signed up right now, but I assume they would all show up here if uh, I did have another member. And of course I can also write them a note to give them a little context for what this support ticket is about or maybe what questions I might have before answering the ticket. I really do like how as new notifications are coming in here, it's not moving my screen around too much. It's simply just letting me know I can click this button to refresh the page or there is a little icon up here to refresh the page too to see all of the latest messages. So these are status indicators to let me know how far along the ticket is. The green checkbox lets me know the ticket is solved. The a little envelope right here indicates that the message has been read. The next icon over is uh, that it has been archived. So it gets archived when I click send and solve. That basically marks it as archived. The uh, ticket also gets tagged as archived too. You can see that right up here. This is the tags for this particular ticket. Let's go ahead and close that. And the last one is to indicate whether or not it has been marked as a ticket. Once again, the tags indicate that status. So you can see right here, it's been marked as a ticket and the ticket is solved. Let's look at our filtering over on the right-hand sidebar. We can look at open messages as well as archived messages. We've got our message from Drina and Dave in there right now. Uh, go back to open messages. We can look at the filtering. Now, again, I only have one user set up here, but I can see just the messages that are assigned to me. So if you are uh, you know, wanting to have employees, go ahead and check the social inbox. You could assign uh, specific tickets to specific people and we'll look at ways to do that in a minute. We already saw that you can do it manually, uh, but you can also just see all messages in uh, one glance right here by clicking the all filtering. So if I just wanna see the messages on LinkedIn, now I don't have any messages on LinkedIn yet because I'm not very active on that platform, but if I add in Facebook, I can see I have one new ticket that hasn't been responded to, right? Because we are looking at only the open tickets. If I go to the archive tickets, uh, that is where the other two people had already messaged from. Now in the next section down, we we've got our tags. Now this is gonna be identical to the tags that we saw inside of the individual tickets, right? So if we go back to Davy Dave's ticket right here, we were talking about that earlier, we can see the tags that are applied. All of the tags in the system are gonna be right here and I can actually sort by those tags. So I gave Davy Dave's message a tag of test reply. And so if I click on this, I should only see his message show up here. This is really cool. So if you start using tags efficiently, you could sort by different topics or products that people are actually asking about and you can start to get some real data of where your marketing is maybe missing because people will ask the same questions over and over again and that gives you the opportunity to change your social media posts to solve those questions so that people get it because for every one person who takes the time to reply and actually ask the question there's probably 10 or 20 who have the same question and just kept on scrolling. 
Finally, down below here, let me get out of the way. We've got our dates where you can actually just sort through specific time frames and see people who messaged you uh, between those dates. So all of this filtering will work together. We can see only open tickets who are assigned to me that messaged on LinkedIn only and have the test reply tag uh, between January 26th and February 3rd. That is how this filtering is working. It's all cumulative. All right, so I gotta admit, I love how Jufi is looking so far. The UI is very fast and easy to use and understand. Uh, and we're not done yet. We've got some really cool automation stuff coming up right now. All right, back over in Jufi, right underneath the inbox, we've got something called automation rules. And what this is gonna allow us to do is to automatically tag messages as they come in. So first thing we're gonna do is select a channel. This is gonna be one of your social platforms. I'm going to choose uh, Facebook for now. One other small little irritation that I have is when you go to choose a channel, it doesn't actually indicate uh, in the name what channel it's coming from. So like this is Twitter, this is Instagram, and this is YouTube. I can see that, but man, those are teeny tiny little icons. Uh, I'm not actually sure what this one is. It has a transparent icon. I believe it's probably LinkedIn, but I'm not totally positive because I linked up my personal LinkedIn account, not my company's, uh, but that's my best guess here. So the way this works is you choose a channel. Uh, you can choose multiple channels too. So let's say I wanted to do Facebook and Twitter. Uh, and then if a message comes in and has the word, let's say, uh, how much, then I could automatically tag that to, let's say, sales. If I wanted to create a, a support team that just answered sales questions, and I could have a tech team if it was like a technical question, you get the idea here. You can start to really segment things and have them automatically flow into the right departments. For now, I'll just choose test reply and I'll hit set. Now you can see my automation rules. I just created two at once by including two channels. So it says, if the message contains how much, then move it to, or you could think of this as then automatically tag it as, I think that'd be a better uh, word to use up here, test reply, and it'll be for this particular channel, which is the Facebook group, or not the Facebook group, just the Facebook page, and then the Twitter account right here. All right, great, so those are all set up. So now the next time I get a direct message that includes the words how much, it will automatically get tagged as a test reply and I'll be able to sort those through. Obviously that's not a real concrete use case, but you could get an idea of how it might work for your business. If someone says how much, you might move it over to your sales process, so on and so forth. Moving on down the line below inbox, we have reports. Now reports are where you're gonna get a bird's eye view of the health of your engagement on social media. So right now I am viewing all channels. I can filter by channel if I want, but I've got them all turned on. I can see that I've got 76 total messages over the last week, two tickets to resolve. Those are the messages that you saw me reply to. And then I can see I've got an average first response time of two hours and 35 minutes and 54 seconds. I assume that's because of the YouTube comments, which are gonna be you know, backdated for quite a while. If we filter out YouTube, I think we'll see that that number will come down quite a bit. Yep, two minutes and 52 seconds for the Facebook messages that we answered on this video. Let's turn YouTube back on so we have a little bit more data to work with. And here we can see how many messages I'm getting per day on a nice little graph. So you can see the 25th was a lot of engagement and then not so much uh, for the following uh, week and a half afterwards. Uh, down below, I can see the top channels. Right now, we really only have engagement on Facebook and YouTube. And then we can see the distribution per platform. Uh, there's a tiny little sliver for Twitter. There's a tiny little sliver for Instagram. But the Biggest bulk is definitely YouTube followed up with a decent piece of pie for Facebook. Down below that is the audience, which is gonna be the people who are engaging the most with the content. So this is actually a little confusing to me because I do recognize some of these names, people who commented on the, the YouTube channel, uh, but then I also see Profitable Tools, which is the name of the YouTube channel. So it's actually counting, say like my replies as messages, uh, which is obviously not ideal. It'd be nice to be able to, to filter that out. It shows up to down here below as two as well. I have to assume that's probably the two replies that I sent on Facebook and then maybe 32 comments on the YouTube channel. So it'd be great if I could somehow filter out my own brand from that report, but not the end of the world for sure. Then down below here, we have something called the sentiment analysis, uh, which is gonna be related to those tags when we tag things as positive, negative, or neutral. Uh, and you can see the little grayed out pie chart here. Now this is not indicative of the actual uh, you know, report because it's actually not enabled. This is a locked feature, which I guess I'll have to contact support, probably an upsell to get this enabled on my account. 
I don't actually see anything about buying that. And if I click this little button, it doesn't do anything. So maybe this is coming later. Uh, it doesn't seem like it should be an extra feature, but just letting you know, that's what my account looks like right now. Believe it or not, we're getting close to wrapping up this video already, but I just wanted to give you another glance at the inbox as a lot more messages have started to come in now. We can see uh, the differentiation between say a messenger on Facebook Messenger uh, from a Facebook page uh, comment right here. So this person says testing Jufi, it's got the Facebook logo because that's on the Facebook page. Whereas this is a messenger icon. We can of course also see Twitter showing up now as well as Instagram. So at a glance, you can see the different platforms, uh, which is is a really, really nice thing. Now we started off this video by looking at the different channels that we can add accounts to, so we're not gonna spend any more time there, but we didn't look at how to add team members. So this is done right here. We've got our workspace. I'll show you how to set that up uh, right after this as well. We've got our teammates. We can send out an invite for our teammates right here by entering their email address in and assigning them a role. Now this isn't an extremely full featured uh, role system like we've seen on some other help desk software that I've reviewed on this channel, but it does give you the ability to choose between administrator and moderator. So an administrator can add or remove social accounts and see the statistics and performance in the report section, whereas the moderator can only read the social inbox and uh, reply to customers. So if you're hiring staff, more than likely, they're probably going to be moderators and you'd leave your, if you're the business owner, you'd set yourself as the administrator. Now, last but not least, you can see that I've got this generic your workspace up here and that's going to bug a lot of people. So let's go ahead and click this and we can actually edit it. So now it says profitable tools up in the corner here. If I had more than one brand that I was working with, I can click on the triple dots and go down to workspaces where I can actually go ahead and create an additional workspace. Let's say for my digital marketing agency client amp. So now I have two separate workspaces set up. There are no channels connected right now to this workspace. I could go ahead and connect all of client amp socials profiles and then be able to easily toggle back to my other brand. So this is really great if you're a social media manager and you also do social engagement and you're applying for your customers. If you have more than one client, you could create an inbox or a workspace, excuse me, for each client and easily be able to toggle back and forth between all of the different clients from one Chrome tab. You do have the ability to set a a different theme for your workspace. However, it's not workspace independent, so perhaps I said that wrong. For example, if I choose, let's say, blue for profitable tools, and then I switch over to the client amp account, it'd be great if client amp kind of kept that same color, but no, it adopts whatever theme is already set. I think that'd be a nice feature for them to add. It would be good if you're managing a lot of clients to set it to a brand color. Maybe they could even allow you to set your own hex code here so that as you switch back and forth, you could be very clear, okay, I'm working on the red account, uh, uh, that is XYZ client. And then I switch over to another brand and it doesn't actually stay the same color. You'd have kind of a unique identifier, maybe add the company logo in up here it would be a really nice touch. All right, there you have it. That's a pretty good look at everything that Jufi can do. And I gotta say, I'm fairly impressed. Not only does it have a nice modern looking design and user interface, I found it very simple to understand what I was doing, but it also solves a real problem in that, you know, we got all these social media scheduling tools. So, you know, things like Buffer where you can post and have it go out to your, your Twitter, your Instagram and your Facebook all with a single click. But then the real problem is following up with everything. So having a social inbox where you can see everything in one unified tab actually encourages me to engage on platforms I otherwise ignore, namely LinkedIn and Instagram and maybe even a little bit more of Twitter if I can handle it. This is a good thing. It's gonna help me reach more people because not everyone is gonna be on the platforms that I'm on. And maybe I can get more subscribers to my YouTube channel if I post more frequently to my LinkedIn profile, so on and so forth. You can probably imagine how this might benefit your business as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and give Jufi a very healthy 8.8 .8 out of 10. I think this is a really good tool and one you should definitely consider picking up if you don't have anything like this already for your business. All right, so if you wanna check out Jufi, make sure you click the link down below. That is the referral link for this channel. If you click it before making a purchase, we will earn a small commission, helps to make more videos like this one, but it never costs you anything extra. I do appreciate any support. I do have one more small favor for you, actually. Would you please click that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. That sends Google the message or YouTube the message that this content is meant for people like you. So it helps spread the word about the channel, lets the algorithm know that they're in the right spot. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them down below. You can always join up over on the Facebook group. Once again, the link for that is in the description as well. And I'll see you in the next review.